Today I show you how I integrate the spread from my broker into my backtest data. I know the topic isn't very interesting, but trust me, these are the things that separate a winning trader from 90% of other traders. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the MetaTrader 5 platform and this is our custom symbol we created in one of the last videos. And also in one of the last videos we recorded live spread from our broker and we got this file. This is just the spread for each minute of the day. So for example, for the minute 56, we got a spread of 18. And today we will integrate these spread values into our historical backtest data. Okay, let's just go back to MetaTrader. And now we take a look at the spread of our custom symbol by clicking on symbols in the market watch window, right click and symbols. And here we just navigate to our custom symbol, select the symbol and we click on the bars tab. Now we just request a little bit of history to see the spread values. And this spread is now directly from Dukas copy. And if we take a look at the minute 56, here we see a spread of zero. And that's of course not right. And if we would use this data for our backtest, the backtest um, would not be accurate. Okay, let's create a new data file with the correct spread from our broker. For this, we can close the symbols window and we start the data editor. Just drag and drop it on the custom symbol. And by the way, of course, you don't need the data editor. You can do this whole process in Excel too. Do it manually, for example, but of course with the data editor, it's much easier. Okay, and in one of the last videos, I showed you how to use the data editor to make a visual check of your price data. But today we focus on the create file section of the data editor because we want to integrate our spread. Okay, so the start date and end date, we can just leave it as default. This will just take the whole period of our custom symbol. We can set a tick volume. I usually go with 10 and a real volume, I also select 10. Now here we can select a period. I always take the one minute period for my historical data. And the last setting is for the spread. Here we can select different options. The first option would be to not change the spread at all and just use the spread from Dukas copy for our new data file. But of course we want to change our spread so we could use a fixed value and just set the spread to five, for example. But then of course, each candle would have the same spread also overnight. Another option would be to use a live symbol uh, for the spread. So we can set the symbol, a markup, a spread date and a minimum value for the spread. But with this option, the problem is that MetaTrader always saves the minimum spread value for each minute. So if we got one tick that just has a spread of zero, then the whole minute, the whole candle would have a spread of zero. And this is of course not very accurate. So the best option in my opinion is to use a spread file. And by the way, if you use the data editor and want to know more about a specific setting, you can just click on the info button and you will get a description of each setting. Okay, now before we click on select file, we need to make sure that the spread file is in the right location. So if you used a different terminal to record your spread file, you need to copy the spread file and click on file, open data folder and click on MQL5 and files. And here you can paste your spread file but if you used the same terminal to record live spread, you will already have a spread recorder folder here and a live recorded folder. And here there's all the spread you have recorded. Okay, so let's click on select file. 
Now just navigate to your spread file and of course select the right symbol, in our case Euro Dollar and let's just click on save. Now you can see the name of the spread file is displayed here and we can click on create new file. So now we can just check our settings and click on OK. Let's set a name for our new data file. Let's just call it test. Then we click on save. Okay, now the last step we need to make is to create a new custom symbol with our price data. So let's just make a right click into the market watch, click on symbols. Here we want to navigate to custom symbols, forex, right click and click on create new symbol. Now again we want to copy, in our case from euro dollar. the symbol from our broker so we get all the symbol information. Now important we go to the top right corner and give the symbol a name. Let's just call it custom and now we can click on OK. We select our new custom symbol, click on the bars tab and now here we can import bars and now we can just click on browse and select our saved price data euro dollar test and now we can also take a look at the spread here on the right side and if we take a look at the minute 56 we now have the value of 18 which is correct and this of course for each day. Okay, so now we can just click on OK. Let's go back to the specifications. Double click on our custom symbol so we can see it in the market watch. We can close this window now. We also can close the data editor. And let's open the new custom symbol right click chart window and this is now the data from Dukas copy but we got the spread from our broker. Okay and that's how I prepare my historical data for my backtests because what we want is to get the backtest environment as close as possible to the live market environment and if you for example have another spread then the backtest would be pretty much useless. Okay, so in the next video I will show you how to do a simple backtest. If you could leave a like that would be awesome. If you have any questions about the data editor or other topics of automated trading just write a comment and I will see you in the next video.